Hello, how is your studies going on? Fine. Today we can learn about a new topic from the chapter light that is sign conventions for spherical mirrors and lenses. This topic is very important for grade 10, grade 11 and 12 also for the entrance exams. This is very important for solving numerical problems. Before starting, if you did not subscribe the channel, please subscribe. First, we can remember the mirror formula that is 1 by V plus 1 by U is equal to 1 by F. And the lens formula 1 by V minus 1 by U is equal to 1 by F. Where V is the distance of the image and U is the distance of the object. F is the focal length of the mirror or lens. And the distance of the object and image we are measuring from the pole of the mirror or optic center of the lens. Now we can study how to apply the sign conventions for U, V, F, also for HI and HO, where HI and HO are the height of the image and height of the object respectively. Here there is a ray diagram of image formation in concave mirror. Here we have to check whether the focus Object distance, image distance, HO and HA, that is height of the object and height of the image. These quantities are positive or negative. For that, we have to uh, imagine a plane, a Cartesian plane with the pole of the mirror as the origin. Like this, see here, the pole of the mirror is coinciding with the origin of that plane. So, in this case, after this, we have to check. Uh, how the sign convention takes place. Uh, first, we can, we can check about the focus. See, this is the focus of the concave mirror. Light, parallel beam of light falling on the concave mirror passes through the focus. Concentrate on the focus. Now, focal length. What about focal length? That is the distance between the pole and the focus. Here, if we measure the focal length, that is distance between pole and focal length is minus 3. See, since the focus is formed on the left side of the pole or left side of the origin of that Cartesian plane, when we measure, we get the uh, distance as minus, negative. So, we say the focal length is negative. Here, focal length is negative because focus is on the left side of the pole or left side of the origin. Now think about the object distance u that is the distance between pole and the object that also again formed on the left side of the origin. So when we measure we get here the distance as negative 8 or we say u is also negative like this see u is negative f is negative. What about v? v is also negative because it is formed on the left side of the origin when we measure we get it as a negative number so v is also negative now what about height of the object and height of the image height of the object normally we draw to the upward direction on the x-axis so we get it as positive number See, the uh, height of the object here, it is 2 cm, positive 2 cm. Since it is on the upward direction, we get it as positive. Height of the object will be positive in almost all cases because we draw it like this. Then, height of the image, here it is inverted image. Inverted image, uh, we measure the height of the inverted image uh, in the downward direction, so we get a negative number. Here it is negative 1.2 cm. So we get height of the image as negative for inverted images. And if it is a erect image, we get it as positive number also. I think you got the idea. Now we can consider the sign convention for the image formation in convex lens. Here 
This is a ray diagram to show the image formation in convex lens. To find the sign convention, we have to imagine a Cartesian plane with the optic center as the origin. See here optic center of the lens and the origin are coinciding. We are imagining in such a way. Now in this case, object is placed on the left side of the lens. Object distance is the distance between the optic center and the object that is u. u is this distance. And that is on the left side of the op uh, optic center, left side of x-axis, left side of origin. So that we take as negative, see here. u is considered as negative. Now what about focal length? You know for a convex lens, if a ray of light is falling on the convex lens, it will concentrate on the focus on the other side of the lens. So here ray of light is coming from left side and focusing on right side. Here if you measure the focal length, you know focal length is the distance between the optical center and focus. And that is uh, coming as positive here. See that is on the right side of the origin. If focus is coming on right side of the origin, that is considered as positive. Focal length is considered as positive. So here we get focal length as positive. So u is negative, f is positive. Now what about v? V is the image distance, distance of the image from the origin. Since it is coming on the left side of the origin, image is coming on the left side of the origin. See it is uh, almost 4.5, less than 4.5 it is, that is negative also. So V is considered as negative. Now what about height of the object and height of the image? See both object and image are formed uh, in the upward direction, it is erect image we are getting. Erect image that is coming above the x-axis. So both are positive. HO is positive and HI is also positive. Image height and object height. Both are positive. If we are getting an inverted image, we will get HI image height as negative. Now we can generalize these points as all the distances are measured from the pole of the mirror or from the optic center of the lens. Second point, all distances to the left of the origin is taken as negative and to the right of the origin is taken as positive provided the origin is coinciding with the pole of the mirror or the optical center of the lens. Third point, the heights measured to the top of the principal axis is taken as positive and below the principal axis is taken as negative. Now we can check how sign convention is applied in each of the following ray diagrams in the case of mirrors. If you have any doubt, please enter it in the comment box. This table give you how the sign convention is applied in each ray diagram of lenses. Remember all erect images, height of the erect images are taken as positive and inverted images are taken as negative. Hope you understood the topic well. We can do numerical problems on this topic in the next video. I am getting inspiration to do more and more videos from your subscriptions and comments. So please don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell button to get the notifications. Thank you.